Hi, my name is Micah. And James. And today we're going to um, show you a good fundraiser for Unite Your Razor or Camparama. We're going to be making an un-American flag. So I am going to be working on blue um, triangle with the stars on it. And then once it's dry, he's going to put this on it so he can paint it and, white. And we're also going to tape on it so, so it doesn't get the edges. So but then, like tell us why you have a cloth on the table. Because for, so if this like spills or anything, it will get on the cloth and not the table because we take the cloth off when we're joining it together and we don't want paint on it. Yeah. You, you would want to um, get some paint and if you got too much paint, just do this on the side. So tell us about that. Tell us about that square, where you got that square at and how you got it. From Lowe's. Oh, geez. Yeah, Lowe's has a ton of wood. So, and they actually chopped it up in the big chopper. And while yeah. you're doing the stars, you want to hey, do it like this. Hey, Tom. I'm Mike and James's dad. And throughout this video, I'm going to pop in and just give you some tips as a leader on how to do some of these flag techniques that Mike and James are showing you. Now we're going to now we're going to do the sides. Okay. You want to get the sides all along and make sure they're Make sure that there's no like drippage right here. You don't want like this. You don't want it to be standing out when you have the um when you have the flag. So it's like the corner and you can see it. You don't want this to be there and just like popping out cuz it will look not natural. Okay, when we cut the long boards, we like to use um, a miter saw. The problem with that is is that the miter saw uh, oftentimes can't reach the full length to cut the uh, rectangle for the stars. And so what we do is we go to Lowe's and we get a larger board for this and we'll give you the information for that board in the description. However, I have them rip it all the way across um, at Lowe's to make that board smaller. And then I have them cut it down into the smaller pieces so I don't have to use my miter saw for any of that. Now, if you just have them rip it, uh, you should be able to cut into the smaller pieces yourself with a miter saw. However, you go into Lowe's, you tell them what you're doing. 100% of the time, they've always been willing to help me, and it helps with that specific cut because it's such a technical cut and a little bit of a harder cut for the boys to make. So, uh, I would recommend Lowe's. Now, what we're going to do is move this over on the ground because we don't really it. need it on the table when we're sawing the wood. Yeah. So, let's do that. Bye. So, now what we're going to do is chop it, one piece of wood and chop it. And but you first, a measuring tape, and then you need a pencil or a pen. Doesn't really matter. And you also... We are making the stripes right. for the American flag. So what stripes are you gonna cut first? We're gonna cut the big, long ones first, and then we're gonna move on to the little ones. We need six long ones and s seven small ones. Just got um, a tag out, so. so. What's your link for the long ones? Mm -hmm. The long ones are three feet, yeah. The long ones are three feet, and then the short ones are 21, 21-ish, 21 21-ish. 21 You know what you're going to do is you can like make a line. That's what we did. We made a line to where you're supposed to cut because we're not really good remembers. So Yeah. And then you just draw a line where it is and then do that and then draw and then the very hard part. James, get out of the way. Okay. Oh wait, glasses. Do this in the winter. Make sure, not a good idea. Make sure to wear Safety glasses, whatever you wear, to put it. Yeah, so yeah. I used to use. I used to do it by hand, so like this, and it was so. We had to like, my dad for meetings. He had to like wait until we were done, and it was so hard. But now my dad upgraded us. 
All right, so we get five of these long boards. Now, if you cut the short boards first, you're gonna need more than five of the long boards because of how, it, how, how the uh, demographic of the cuts make. So cut your long pieces first and then cut your short pieces second. Uh, we use, uh, if you're doing this as an outpost, we're using a hand saw because we live on the road and we don't have space for a miter saw. But if you're doing this as an outpost, just bring in a miter saw and, and, and just put your stops in and you can make a whole bunch of these long board cuts and then a whole bunch of the short board, board cuts real quick all at once. Character, you cut, you like take any knife, you take, for me it's a machete, you take any knife and then you cut one part, so you like, pretend this is a knife, you cut right there on the sides, but make sure to not like cut a lot so you can, so it's like you can see through it. Um, but we, yeah. But no cutting, no cutting these for, for the back because- Okay, you can see my kids using a machete in this video. Yeah. I've used a machete or a hatchet. Uh, you want something that's heavy. I ha one of the, one of the um, lighter bladed hatchets isn't going to work because the boys don't have the upper body strength to have it come down and hit that wood. Also, make sure they're not going too deep because you still need some wood for the screws to catch on to. Um, like this is where the back. So like this is going to be next to the blue, and then this is going to be just out. And that's where it's dangling all around. And this is closer, this side is closer to the um, metal part. And that's why you only cut the front. But also because you know, when a flag is flapping, that flapping end is the flapping end that gets frayed. And so we're only fraying off the, the flapping end and that's what he was talking about. We're gonna use a imprint of the stars. Star stencil. Star stencil for the stars, so so we can get the right shape for the stars. We're also gonna tape it to it to the sides, so it doesn't like it doesn't um. You hold it. I'll tape it. So it doesn't um. So so they. So it doesn't, um... A little, a little bit straighter for me, okay? Like, both hands. Um, so, um... You, so we don't, like, get the sides, and you don't... It... If the wind is blowing, you can just... It... You don't have to hold it, like... So for this, you want to get, uh, so you, you want to get a little paint brush like this, or you can use like um a big paint, not like a really big. We're using, you can use like a plate or something to dip it in. This one's already cut. And, and um and and you um. So you, and you also want a, a piece of white. So first you want to dip it in, and then you want to do this, so it doesn't get like, all like, like, thin. I think thin, I don't know. I don't know that word. So and, and, then, and then you want to do this to your fingers. It's okay if you get your fingers white, it's just a part of doing it. So first, you want to come in by the sides and then get the sides. Okay, you can see here that James is using a different kind of paint. So we have the three types of paint that we get from Lowe's. However, we have this different paint that we get from Hobby Lobby. And it's the only item that we don't get from Lowe's for this project. The reason is we need a thicker paint. If you try to use a stencil with that light, with that, that thinner paint from Lowe's, it goes right underneath the stencil. So James uses a foam brush to kind of dab it onto there, and then a heavy, thick paint, acrylic paint, that we use for the stars. And so I'll include that in the description, uh, but that helps so you don't have the runnage for the stars. I take them and divide them up to so like red, white, 
red, uh, white. I'm doing the whites, whites, because they're the hardest to see in light. So I take these and then I place them out. Now for these, you don't have to do these edge sides because these are all going to be inside. They're not going to be like, they're not going to be outside because it goes red and then at the end it goes red again. So you're not going to need to paint the sides, but you do need to paint the top and you need to paint the top, yeah. Okay, stars are the hardest part of this project and the piece that really shows mistakes. So listen, commanders, here's what I want to tell you. They are boys and the stars are going to be messed up. And that's okay. When you do your um, wood burning, you can kind of clean that up a little bit. You can hand touch it up a little bit. But listen, don't spend a lot of time on the stars' mistakes. These are boys. They're doing a fundraiser. They're doing their best. And we want to give that person a flag that was made by these boys. And so listen, they pull that up. There's some mess up though in the stars. That's okay. Um, is a flag made by young men for a ministry and it's going to be okay. Okay, so the two boards, the, the white and red are dry now. So what, now what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up and put it on the ground and then we're going to take this sheet off. You start placing your pieces, but you have to turn this around, so this, and then like that, so and turn every piece, stop, every piece of wood around just like it, and you hand me the wood, so. So we almost forgot to put this piece on the front because if you put if you put th like this piece on the front, it would just look like this and it will look nasty. But like we did this, we painted the sides, so it didn't look like that, and we almost forgot. So we have to we have to. Uh, So you take your two boards that you use to dry them with, and you, you put them on the sides of the flag, and then you take the clamp, you take the clamp and you do this, and then you just put it on there like that. Boom. And then you usually want to want to get it right here where the stars and the small pieces of wood meat because that will give you more it won't like go these pieces won't go up and then you take these pieces of wood you can place them like this place them like this and then you take some glue before we put the glue in we have to drill holes you have to do three holes on the on the yeah, big for the, square. For the stars, you only do one on the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. And for everyone else, you do you do one for everyone else. Is we do top first, so top. And then we do bottom. And then we do, the we screws. do it again. We do it again. Before we do that, we just put some glue. Please do 
this you part can... with an adult, or is, or if you're responsible enough, you can do you it. can use gor we're using gor gorilla glue, um, right now, but you can use any type of glue that's very like strong. Okay, so you really could do uh, this this back piece with three boards: the one by twos on either side of the flag, and then a one by four in the center. And I really like using the one by four in the center because that one by four covers both the star section going into the flag section. You can kind of screw both sides of that, and that joins that star and that flag section together. We don't do that because we have to transfer all the wood and supplies that we use in our vehicle because we live on the road. And so we just stick with one type of board that covers the back of the flag and the, stri the, the flag stripes. But you, if I, was if I was you, I would use that one by four for that center piece to connect the stars and the flag stripes of that top half together. Um, I would also say make sure you pre-drill your holes because these one, these one inch boards are gonna crack real easily. So make sure you pre-drill your holes. Now you can, um, you can once you once you think you're done, you can look look around and see if there's any like screws that you missed or anything. And it looks like we don't have any, so we're gonna go ahead and take it off. And let's see. Oh, does it look good? So you gotta um, check to make sure there's like, if there's a screw right here, make sure that's not poking out. And if it if there is, then just take unscrew it a little bit so you don't see it. But looks like it's good. So like if you feel it and you feel like a like a spiky thing, then um, do that. Okay, now we are going to blow torch it. Yeah, we're and gonna make sure you have parent supervision before you do this, cause you might burn your hand off. Yeah, my you might have to get a robot arm. So you so sometimes like see this star, this star like needs some help because like we did it a little bit wrong. So you're gonna go ahead and like. Torch that a little bit, and then get a good torch for any of the ones that you missed. All right, so the blow torch is the funnest part of this flag project. A little bit dangerous, but one of the funnest parts of the flag project. But let me tell you something, commanders. I use the blow torch time to talk about the integrity and the importance of our American flag and to instill within the boys, this is the only time that we ever do anything to burn a flag. I would also just talk to them about the flag history. This is an excellent moment to do it because they're kind of going slow back and forth over this blowtorch area and you have some time to talk about our love for America and our love for the flag. As we tilt it backward, we tilt it like this. So then we can, we cannot like, we don't have to tip it upside down because it just, dies after we turn it upside down. So we don't usually do that. We just flip it upside down. So what Mike is talking about is when you're doing this blowtorch and you get down to that bottom and you start twisting that blowtorch up, it stops working, right? Because of the because of the angle. And so to keep that angle, the simplest thing to do is just flip that flag so you can keep that angle because you don't want that blowtorch to keep going out on the boys and having to restart it. So you have to Now if there's like you want to kind of do it along the edges to like give it um, so we're gonna burn the edges a little bit because it just gives it um because like right here 
is there's like a bunch of marks of like pieces. So that's just we don't want that. If you hung this up on your wall or something, and um, where you gave it to somebody, then you didn't you don't want like to touch it and then just like black stuff comes on. You want to get this stuff called lacquer and that will make it like shiny, shiny and hard so that it doesn't do this so it doesn't have like black stuff all over your hand and like all the other paintbrushes you can probably use again but this paintbrush you can't use again you can't like wash it off because it's just too hard to wash it off So this, this lacquer we used at our, my dad's last conference, it doesn't, it smells awful, so I do not recommend this one. And then you just let it dry. Yeah, and that's, wait, is this the end of our video? Okay. I'm gonna this is the list of things that you need to have to make this flag. You need a screwdriver, a drill bit, a drill. You need a saw, any kind of saw, just anything. You need a screwdriver. You need a machete. You need a um, tape measure. You need you need this thing that goes on the top of this. Um, blow torch. You need this that goes on top of a blow torch, and then you need the blow torch back. So this um clamp, this clamp is this clamp you need. This um star uh. This star template you need. This um, this paintbrush. The sponge. You need a sponge brush and this black template. So you need screws that are about one dollar. You use fifty for one flag. Um, the glue is about fifty cents. Uh, this paint is about one dollar. Um, and all of, all of these paints are about two dollars, and two, all of these are about two dollars. And then you need you can make five flags out of all of these pieces of paint. All of these you need five of these, and these and it's one per piece. It's one dollar per piece, so you need five dollars. You need that's five dollars. And then the template that goes for the stars is four dollars, and then the um the tape you need you the entire flag is about fifth under under twenty dollars. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love making flags with my dad, and but you can do it with your outpost or your dad, it's either one. Hey, we really hope that this gave you an opportunity to learn how to do something fun with your outpost or with your son, and also to raise some money for Ignite Your Razor, or to raise some money to get you to Camp Arama this year. Um, and also, order your, your badge um, for Ignite Your Asia. It glows in the dark. And and make sure you hit that like and ring that bell and subscribe. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.